Quick show of hands, right? So, who out there knows your boy Alias? I know, not personally, but I know of him. I've had a few conversations and some comments or some, on some Instagram posts and whatnot with the guy. Seems like a pretty cool dude, right? Watch some of his videos, I like his energy. It's a pretty good vibe, you know? Anyways, recently, dude did a, a challenge video, started a whole thing going, uh, Black is Beautiful Challenge, right? There will be a link above to his channel and below in the description if I remember to put it in there. I'm gonna try to hope I remember to put it in there. But anyway, so I wasn't challenged in this, right? Because he wouldn't be thinking about me because we don't really know each other like that. But I saw it and I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this because uh, I'm pretty sure that I have enough black shoes here, right? Also, before we get too deep into this, I'm, I'm gonna pass this on to a couple people that I know. We'll go, we'll go three. Three sounds like a decent, a nice solid number, right? Anyway, so uh, let's go with JJ All Day. We'll, we'll put him out there. We'll go with Bobby's Sneaker World because I'm, I feel like he's got a collection to pull that off. And P-Town 24. Yeah. U3. U3. Anyways, so. Here's what's gonna happen, right? I've got some shoes in front. It's a five shoe challenge, right? Five black shoes in your collection. Your favorites is what you would generally go for. I don't have my full collection here, so these won't be all my favorites necessarily, but you know, I'll throw a picture up or two once if, when it makes sense. So, without further ado, and these aren't in any particular order, I'm just gonna pull them out as the boxes are, and the boxes are pretty much stacked in the ways that make them look neat. So just take that for what it's worth. I'm gonna try to get through this quickly so it doesn't take all night. So first up, easy box, right? So I mean, you probably know what's gonna be in this thing. This right here, the Black Static 350s, right? Came out a couple months ago. Actually, it got an assist from Bobby Sneaker World on these. Otherwise, I would not have them, which is a sad realization. But it is what it is. These right here, not like one of my super favorite shoes or anything like that, but I can't deny that they're pretty solid quality and have a good look to them, especially with that 3M and the laces and whatnot. So this one, definitely going in the lineup. <clears throat> so now we close this box up, put that over there, and we move on to, we're going to move on to this one. This one is, uh, in a sense, it's kind of like a special-ish in a way to me. The uh, 3MC Beavs and Buttheads, right? These, uh, this was from my actual first review that I ever put up, which is, again, probably terrible. But anyways, well, I, you know, you gotta be honest, right? But yeah, these, I really wanted these when they came out because they had a good look to them as far as just like a nice casual shoe, and it's Beavis and Butthead, right? I watched them for years, for years. I still watch them, actually. So this one, definitely going in like my, my favorite black shoes that I have. Again, this is right now, going off of the how many pairs of shoes I have here. If I had, you know, when I get all my stuff back in like a month or two, maybe I'll revisit some things, but probably not. I'll probably just, you know, accept the fact that I have them. So yeah, so those beers and buttheads, they're in the lineup, or in the list. These, so what is, what is that? It's kind of dirty on the side here. I need to bring out one of those rejuvenator wipes. So, right here, right? This is an Aniki Runner. Yeah, before they changed it. No, it's not. It's a, it's a 5923. I thought it was early enough to be an Aniki. It's not, though. But still, this shoe, in general, is one of my favorite models. It's, it's not built for performance or anything like that, but if you need some all-day comfort while you're just kind of casually being out, you know what I'm saying? I, I took a pair of these to the Newports, as some call them, because they're green and white to Wrestlemania weekend for New Orleans, what year was that, Nine, or 18, 2018? Yeah, perfect choice, because I walked a lot in that weekend. But yeah, these, they got a good look to them, super comfortable, super cheap too. These retail is like 120, I want to say. Do they put that on there? They don't. Yeah, I want to say retail is 120. I walked away with this pair for like $34 from a foot action, because you know, they were marked down super low, and then I had a discount to use on top of it. And the lady, she when I walked in, she knew. She's like, "Hey, we got those. Uh, we got a pair of it, 5923s in black. Your size, only one left." I'm like, "Get them, <laughs> right?" It's one of those things. It's like, you know, you know, I'm gonna leave with these. You, you got me. You won. So that is three. This brings us to number four. 
So, looking at these here, not something that I would have seen being in my list if, the, if you'd asked me this question a year ago, but right here. Now I know there's not, it, it's not all black, but it is mostly black, right? So these, the Flight Nostalgia 9s, a lot of people like these. You know, not everybody bought them up as soon as they came out, and I get that, because there's generally no reason to. I bought them a little earlier than I needed to, because it looked like the sizes were dwindling away, but they held longer than I expected. Regardless, I got these. I really like the multicolored looks going on, and I'm going to pull out the other pair real quick, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Right there, right here, see how it is, it's kind of switched up on either side, the stitching and all that is all backwards from one to the other. Really nice shoe in my opinion. Really nice shoe in a lot of people's opinions, right? So, what I have here, definitely going in the lineup for, you know, top five black shoes. Full collection, you would have just seen a pair of 72 tens, no question about it. It is what it is though. I also have a pair of, uh, Normally, like, you'd probably expect to see me throw a pair of, like, Vapor Maxes or something in there, some Ultra Boosts, all that. It just so happens that I don't have any black Ultra Boosts or Vapor Maxes here. I was going to pull out one pair, but that pair I had sent to my mom's house to be a pair that I wear there. And the pair that I have here is mostly gray with, like, some kind of iridescent color. It's uh, part of the Throwback Future Pack link up top. And... I, I don't know what it is about that shoe, but people really wanted to see information about it because it got a lot more views than I expected. Alright, and now we're on to the last shoe, which, if you know me, you probably have a guess of what's next, right? But the thing is, I couldn't... The shoe that this would have totally been, I don't have it here. I wish I did. I mean, even if I did, I probably wouldn't wear it. But, I wish I did have it here. So, let's pull these out. I pulled out two because I'm honestly not sure which one I like more. So, it's a Jordan 12, right? Because I like those. This one here, the CNYs, or this one here, the Winterized. A little bit of a rhyme in there. But, uh, yeah, so I'm not really sure which pair gets the final nod because they're both pretty awesome in their own way. Even though this one is super plain, it's just something about this, these materials and that shininess to it. like. They're just really cool looking, you know what I'm saying? And these over here, I like the whole cutaway with like that you can do and you know see like the other fabric under there. So that's pretty awesome. But yeah, I'm just not sure which pair I won't like more, you know, between these two. But again, this is these two aside, if I had everything here, that guy right there, not CM Punk, the picture up there, the Master 12s, that is what I would pick because of I mean, because 12s are my favorite, right? And those were the first 12s that I ever got. So, naturally, I'd have to stick with them. But, unfortunately, that's just not an option. Anyways, so that concludes the list. Actually, you know what? It doesn't. Because there is one slight honorable mention that doesn't really fit into any of the categories. As far as, like, you know, being shoes or whatever. But they're black and they're coming out. These right here, the Cloud Phones, right, by Adidas. Like, if you ever need some slides or something... This is the route to go. Like, these things are so freaking comfortable. So if you're just stepping out to take out the trash, or you're going to be out there, like, doing the whole barbecue thing, or you, you just need something to walk around the house in, these things are insanely comfortable. And they're often on sale, because I don't think anybody really realizes how good they are. I'm not trying to oversell them, but trust me, for, uh, what's the, I think the retail is, like, is it 30-something? But you can often find them for, like, under 20 I got my I got my family I got my family pairs like a couple months ago because they were like 50% off from, like straight from Adidas. But anyway, so yeah, so that's gonna be it for the video. Um, go ahead again. JJ all day, Bobby Sneaker World, P Town 24. I'm looking at you, right? Well, not really. I'm looking at a camera, but you know what I mean. You guys are next. Hopefully, just go out, pull out what you got, and uh, let me know how that works out for you. I mean, well, I'll see it because I'm subscribed to you. Got the whole notification thing going on. I actually was just talking about that stuff. If you saw that video earlier, hopefully it's not too late to go check it out and like reap the benefits of it. But eh, whatever, we'll see if it is, if it isn't, or if it isn't. So that's it for me. Again, thanks for watching this video. I will make another video later just for you. That's a that's a promise, actually. It, it truly is. All right, later, people.